five minutes to stamp his presence on the game. Striding out of defence before playing the ball out wide to Wayne Faraday. A good cross in, and Mark McGee is in the middle to end his personal drought. Just. Now United should have been on their way, but Leicester always look lively. And Tommy Wright punished some sloppy defensive work to bring Leicester level after 18 minutes. Aitken was looking the part though, releasing Kevin Dillon with a fine pass. Out comes Martin Hodge, down goes Dillon, and referee Keith Hackett says penalty. John Anderson took on the responsibility, Hodge moves, but it's still an excellent save. The appointment only worsened eight minutes before half-time. Burridge had missed the corner, and defender Steve Walsh had moved up to punish United. But Burridge soon made up for his error. The ball falls for Tommy Wright, and the United keeper beats away a crashing drive. It was certainly action all the way. Hodge, too, was keeping busy at the other end. Stimson's free kick, McGee's flick acrobatically turned over. But United were only momentarily denied. Stimson's cross was never cleared. And when it falls for Quinn, he gobbles up the chance. Number 22, and it's all square, right on half-time. But the defensive nightmares wouldn't go away. Aitkin's tackle, the ball runs loose, and the impressive Gary McAllister hits it first time, helped on by Kevin Campbell. Worse was to come as Liam O'Brien gives the ball away to McAllister. It's through for Campbell, a first-class goal. Leicester now well on top at 4-2. But stand by for a storming Newcastle revival. Three minutes later, Mark McGee opens up the defence with the neatest of turns, but hands John Carricker Newcastle's third on a plate. All the same, United still needed Burridge to keep them alive. Palming David Oldfield shot away. Then when it's worked for Gary Mills, Burridge is alert again. But it all exploded in the last four minutes. Brock's corner and Quinn is in there where it matters yet again. 4-4, but still it wasn't enough. Within a minute, an amazing game was won with another example of Mark McGee's sheer brilliance. 5-4, and the United fans can't believe it. Nor could the new skipper. Full shell shock, to be honest. I mean, it was a case of... You have a go at us, we'll all go at you, you have a go at us. But we're delighted with the result. I mean, obviously, coming back from 4-2 down in the second half to win 5-4 is, uh, is great for the fans. I mean, that's, that's what the fans want to see. They always have excitement at Newcastle, you know. <laughs> so they say, I mean, Mickey Quinn says we're the only team that could probably do that. So uh, he's probably right there. What was the feeling at 4-2 down? Well, all credit to the lads for, for, for battling away because, I mean, maybe nine times out of ten the heads might have went down, but, but today it was a case of keep going, keep going, because we felt as if we still had control of the game at that time. Um, the manager obviously a bit upset at the way we lost some of the goals, but mm. uh, at the end of the day, we've scored five goals at home in front of a good crowd, and hopefully that'll bring them back in the next home game. I thought Mark McGee had an excellent game, particularly the way he took the winning goal. Well, a great turn. I mean, typical Mark McGee goal, holding the ball up, turning the defender, and sticking away with his left foot. So, um, yeah, great to get that one. I thought the five goals were good, put it that way. <laughs> it must have been great to watch because it was end to end stuff. Uh, that, that compares with anything that happened in the Premier League, I must admit. Um, I don't know if the wall be like that, but. Uh, Leicester obviously on a high, they've won seven out of the last eight games. That's their first defeat for a long time. So, I mean, we're delighted. And a great start for you. Three points, that's the main 